How's it going? Thank you for your time. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks a lot. Because uh, yeah. Sorry about this, the wind totally messed up my entrance. I had the chance to meet Francois Parizot today to talk about something called altimetry, which is his specialty. It sounds a bit complicated, the word altimetry. No, the principle is not so complicated, so I will try to explain it in simple words. So okay. Altimetry is a measurement that we do from satellite, like this one, you have the scale one, JSON 3 markups okay. here. And what we do with the altimetry is measuring the sea elevations. And it's okay. important to measure the sea elevations because the sea is not flat. There are high and low in the ocean. And it's a bit like the high pressure and low pressure area in the atmosphere where the winds blows around this high and low pressure. The current in the ocean they turn also around these highs and lows of the ocean. All right, so that's quite important. And so, yeah, yeah. Uh, which satellites are you using for so that? So we are using several satellites, but okay. one of the main important is the one that you just have here. You can see this big uh, antenna just in the middle. This is the altimeter antenna. Okay, so what does it do exactly? It sends... Yes, exactly. So it sends the pulse. Okay. in the direction of the ocean okay. and then this pulse is reflected by the surface of the ocean and come back again to this antenna okay. and by measuring very very precisely the time it takes for this pulse to reach the ocean surface and get back to the satellites you measure the distance between the satellite right. and the ocean okay so Francois, we're here at, uh, outside Yumetsat uh, by the pond, which really looks lovely. It's a lovely place, a very peaceful, yeah, yeah. peaceful area. You know that this lake has a very specific shape. Huh? I've heard, and yeah. what is it exactly? If Can you, you look tell at me? it from, from above, it has the shape of, uh, of Africa. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was the willingness right. of, the, of the architect. and. and the satellite, the building has the shape of, a, of the satellite. Yeah. So I think the idea and our satellites so are overflying uh, all uh, all over the, the world, so including over Africa. Africa. And, and so I think it was the idea of the architect to have a building with the shape of the of the, one of our satellite over Africa. That's crazy. So nothing is done by accident. No, it's nothing is done by accident. So yeah, I decided to go here because uh, we're still on the ocean theme and we've just seen uh, how it is with uh, JSON altimetry so maybe just a quick final question why is ocean monitoring and keeping an eye on our ocean so important for the weather uh, it's important for for the weather it's important for many many for aspects many because aspects. Uh, the ocean are covering 70 percent of the surface of the earth it's and, true. It's and true. they are storing most of the heat and they okay. are key element in the transfer of the heat it's really the uh, the body that that that, that monitor and the, uh, the transfer of heat, the storage of energy, storage of carbon dioxide. So okay. it's, it's playing a key role in, in, the, in the climate of uh, of the Earth and of course global warming, climate monitoring. It's true. Everybody talked about that. So what you tell me is the oceans and all of that is shaping our environment. Yes. So a very important theme there, which I didn't cover until now because for me it was very about the weather, but I think the ocean is kind of the base yeah, yeah, of yeah. everything. Now it's clear true. that now we are doing with the ocean what was done with the atmosphere yeah. uh, 20 years ago. Okay. What about all this data you're getting from? I know you, there is Meteosat and uh, Metops sending in Meteor setting every 15 minutes now with Jason and Center you're using for the ocean. So yes. where does that all yeah, go? I mean the control room. I've seen just a couple of computers here and there, but no storage. So they goes in in this building where we have we have some archive. Okay. Uh, so you're using uh, a room there, a couple of rooms yes, where storage. Yes, Is it possible yes, for yeah. me to go there? Or? Ah, unfortunately, I don't think so. I even ah. don't have the authorization oh, really? probably to go in in that building because it's a bit. 
secure because those archives are very, are very important. Okay. Yeah, we yeah, don't sure. want we don't want to lose, of course. So we don't want to take any risk of losing yeah, this, this of important course. data. And if you think uh, I called my tour guide Phil Harvey, you think I have a chance? Yeah, I think you have a chance. All you right. have a chance. Phil can open every, every door. door every door. <laughs> Super. So I see you in a bit, Phil. <laughs> you gotta let him get to the fingers thingy. Oh, he's being fired. Okay, and um, as you know, the control room, it's very quiet. And that's because all the work is being done here. This is the, uh, the, main, the main service, for example. Yeah, this is actual machines and all the work using the servers. We have here the uh, storage areas, like the hard drives for the imaging machines. Okay. It's all being done here. Right. So in the control room, it's nice and quiet, but we're connecting to this room here, where our main servers are all stored. And I've noticed the floor as well. It's kind of weird. What is? Yeah, well, the noise and that. Oh, you can't see on this film, but it's very cold in here. That's okay. a cooling system. Very high power cooling system to make sure the machines stay within operating spec. The uh, air conditioning system's packed up as well. Okay. So, so no chance of failure, the, the machines. The machines, yeah. For example, uh, over here, this is a, a room within a room, Sentinel. Okay. Uh, a lot of data comes down from the Sentinel system, the Penicus system. And this room has its own extra special cooling system, so it's a room within a room. Right. Extra cooling. Level comme toujours, comme moins, comme 